In our last video, we looked at facing operations. Now, in this video, we're going to begin looking at the contouring operation. If you plan on following along, we're using file 7.3, so you can open it and save a copy in your working directory now. Before we go ahead and create our contouring operation, I'd like to quickly point out that I've already faced this part, and when I faced it, I actually used a half inch end mill, as we're going to be using that same half inch end mill to contour our part. Even though the half inch end mill isn't the ideal tool for the job, sometimes on small, quick parts, it's easier to just load one tool into the machine and use it for all of the operations. With that said, we can create our contouring toolpath by selecting 2D milling on the CAM tab of the command manager and then selecting 2D contour. Because I've already used my half inch end mill for a previous operation, by default it's already been selected for the current operation. If it wasn't, of course we could select library to select the appropriate tool. The next thing we need to do is define our geometry. Unlike the facing operation, there is no default selection for geometry in a contour. We're always going to need to define the geometry that we're contouring around. So with the model selection box active, select the front bottom contour closest to the right hand side. It does matter which side of the contour you select because it defines what side of that edge we're going to be contouring around. However, if you accidentally select the wrong side, we can use the reverse button to reverse the direction and switch the side of the contour we're machining on. I will quickly note, if multiple contours are selected, it's important that the right contour is selected before selecting reverse. Moving on to the Heights tab, we can define how far down the contour is going to go. The top of stock is going to be the ideal location for the contour to begin. For the bottom, we are going to machine down to our contour, which is the default for contouring operations, and that's why it's wise to select your contour at the level you're machining to, because again, the default is to machine down to that depth. Additionally, the concept for creating this part is we're going to machine it out of a thick block of stock, flip it over, and machine off the back side. So to make sure we don't have any misalignments when we flip the part, it's a good idea to machine the contour extra deep. So we're going to use an offset on the bottom of negative 20 thousandths of an inch. This forces our contour to cut down below the part. With the basic options of our contour set, let's go ahead and select OK, and the toolpath is generated. At this point, you can save your file and move on to the next video where we're going to focus in on some of the specific aspects of the contouring toolpath.